This video will show you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray or an out of paper message displays on your computer and you have a blinking attention light on your printer. If manual feed mode is selected, the printer will not automatically feed paper into the printer. In this step, we will turn off manual feed mode. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, turn to the back. Press the power switch to turn on the printer. The green power light on the printer will light up when the printer is on. On your computer, click the Windows icon, click Devices and Printers, right-click the desired printer, and then select Printing Preferences. Select the Source Is drop-down menu and choose the Auto Select option. Press the OK button to apply the changes. Press Retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Remove the paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Make sure you are not loading the paper into the priority feed slot, which is above the main input tray. The main input tray is labeled as tray 2 and supports multiple sheets of paper. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Repeat for the paper length guide as well. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Press retry on the error message or attempt to print your original document from the program you were printing from. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Dirt or grime buildup on the pickup roller can cause paper to feed into the printer incorrectly or not at all. In this step, we will clean the pickup roller. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, rubbing alcohol. If rubbing alcohol is not available, warm water may be used as a substitute. Remove the paper from the input tray. Turn to the back. Press the power switch to turn off the printer. Unplug the power cord and wait for the printer to cool. Return to the front. Open the print cartridge door. Look inside the printer for the print cartridge. Using the handle in the middle of the cartridge, lift straight out to remove the cartridge from the printer. Set the cartridge on a flat surface and then cover it with a sheet of paper. By covering the cartridge, you minimize its exposure to direct light, which may cause damage to the cartridge. Find the pickup roller on the bottom of the inside of the printer. Release the small, white tabs on either side of the pickup roller and then rotate it toward the front of the printer. Gently pull the pickup roller up and then out. Apply a small amount of rubbing alcohol or warm water to the cloth. Scrub the pickup roller with the cloth to loosen the dirt and grime. Using a dry cloth, wipe the pickup roller to remove any loosened dirt or grime. Allow the pickup roller to dry for one to two minutes before you reinstall it in the printer. Position the pickup roller in its original slot. The circular and rectangular slots on each side will prevent you from installing the roller incorrectly. Load the circular tabs into the slot first, then push down on the roller until both sides snap into place. Once you have installed the pickup roller, you can install the cartridge. Close the print cartridge door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Press the power switch to turn on the printer. Return to the front. 
Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Make sure you are not loading paper into the priority feed slot, which is above the main tray. The main input tray is labeled as tray 2 and supports multiple sheets of paper. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Repeat for the paper length guide as well. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Attempt to print your original document again. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.